It's not working. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Three things that is very important. It can help you manifest. First, is it handmade? Second, the timing that it was purchased. And third, is it someone who made it very specific for the intention that you're manifesting? And one of the secrets, is it gifted to you? This bracelet is free and is specific to your sign. More than hundreds of thousands of people get their bracelets from us. Visit our website, find out more at eatreadlove.me. Now we go again. Okay. You probably don't know which one to watch. Just keep watching because I keep uploading. Okay. So, woo, new chapter we love. Okay. New beginnings, setting off, of course, to like this is a travel card also. This is a, a chapter of your life. So you're not just flipping a chapter. You know, it's not a book. You're going to a new bookstore. That's how I see. It's, you know, a chapter is too little, Sal. A whole life for me has changed and I'm ready, okay? So this is you setting yourself. It could be like, you know, a new month, new energy kind of thing that you're feeling right now, which is good. Um, this is uh, showing um, that this is fixed right now for you. You have big goals, big dreams, and you're about to get it. We love. The world card is here. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpius, this one. Okay. Sag. Sagittarius. Let's see. I upload here not, you know, back to back. Every 12 hours, I do upload. That's what I know. Meaning they upload. I read nonstop. Okay. So um, today we're discussing the blue kyanite, one of the strongest crystal to calm the soothe the mind, calm soothe the mind. And of course, your red coral. Okay. Because this is uh, your zodiac piao is back in stock. Okay. Um, it's been a while. Okay. Because the red coral, we, I, I had a hard time getting it. But this is a very strong one. Okay. So be careful with the tandem that I made. Your blue kyanite is free, of course, because I want my intention here is to gift this to you. We need an amulet that is gifted, okay? And then you can still get your mega seven, okay? Your lucky seven, seven gemstones that help me bring wealth to me. I put in one bracelet. And yellow sapphire is still free, okay? Because I got this, okay? Some I'm pretty sure is gone because I'm pretty sure, okay, hundreds I get order a day. So I don't know if it's still available. If it is, it is, okay? Can't promise, okay? The world card is here. Okay. Ang landi. Can't promise. Okay. Lumiliad. <laughs> Buti lumiliad. Hindi tumutuwad. <laughs> Magician is here with the world card. Mm. Now, since Mercury is already direct, we love. Okay. That's good for your sign. No more confusion in the relationship, right? Things are going to manifest naturally. Mercury is in the Kendra, in the fourth house. Communication is going to be clear, but Rahu is still there. So you may get misinterpreted by your person. So just be careful, okay? Um, I'm seeing here that naturally in the last couple of days of April, and then because this is a May reading, there is going to be a vision. And, you know, for you, it's just like, this is me. This is what, what makes me happy. Jupiter will leave you a gift in the fifth house. Okay, so other than that, you're pregnant. Okay, so sad. Don't say. It. I'm just saying. Um, Venus is in the fifth house. Okay, so romantic wise, you'll feel this energy. You'd probably want to go out in a nice fancy date, and if you're single or you're just open to meet people, uh, new people, because you have the world card, magician cups right there. Um, you have the pentacles, the ones and the sword. So we love that. Okay, we definitely love it. We're pushing through. Okay, that's good, Sag. And also, you have a new moon happening in your fifth house, which is dating. So, new beginnings. Again, that's happening on the 7th or the 8th. I believe the 7th, okay, of May. So, if there's something that you're manifesting, especially the magician is here, I would suggest you work with the Piao, okay, to manifest. I manifest, I manifest with it, especially in the times of need, okay, because it removes the obstacle. It removes the obstacle. Knight of Swords, coming in fast. Two of Cups, the desire. In the chart, we look at Venus for the pleasure, okay? So what we find that we enjoy is Venus. It's not really Rahu, okay? Rahu is the part that we obsess. Venus is the part where we enjoy, okay? So since Venus is in the fifth house, you attract this naturally. Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups. You don't, you, don't, you know, not, when I say you don't need to do much, Sag, you still gotta go out, okay? 
all right? If you're living under the rock, it's not going to manifest. So if you put yourself, you're a single magician, I'm out there meeting people, you go online or this and that, you've been talking, you know, then naturally, Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups, this is someone who's going to connect with you on a soul level, okay? There's a past life karma here, the Two of Cups. Yes, it is a soulful card, okay? And your pe people are asking, it's like, okay, so what's good crystal if it's about, you know, this kind of, uh, let's just say soulful love, Jade. Okay, and based on my experience, Jade, this is joy, happiness. Okay, I only share this with, of course, with the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is that one. Okay, mm. oh, and you get Jade in your Mega Seven. Mm. Of course, it's all complete. It's like Centrum from A to Zinc. Oh, not, not sponsored. Okay. Two of Cups here with the Knight of Swords, your person expresses their feelings. You're busy, Eight of Pentacles with your career. Queen of Cups, you're taking care of yourself. We love. Knight of Wands with the Four of Wands, someone is rushing and it's not you. Knight of Wands with the Four of Wands. Magician though, you're open, okay? If you want to open up, and I told the Sag here already, okay, that if you really are ready for a relationship, this is going to be a good time. In between, okay, uh, May 1 all the way to the end. For new people, new people, okay? Especially that the new moon is happening there. Okay, now you're going to say, so what about the ex? The ex will come natural because Venus is in the fifth. They'll find you attractive. Okay, how that's going to go, that's your free will. You understand me? But I see the new one, Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups right here. I do say Dear Vedic Astrology just in case you guys get confused. Eight of Cups, Five of Swords. Someone wants to win you. And if they don't win you, they become obsessive. Can be very angry also. Like you're not noticing them because you're doing the work for yourself. So there's a big uh, conflict here. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eatreadlove.me. Five of Swords, that's a conflict. Mm -hmm. So we need to manage that conflict with the Five of Swords. Okay, let me see. Remember, we can remedy the transit, we can remedy the tarot, the dasha, we cannot. Meaning what's written in your chart, that's it. Page of Cups with the Three of Cups with the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're tired and exhausted from them trying to make you... Uh, like, I feel like you just want to isolate for now. Okay, let's skip it that way. Okay. Because you're trying to empower yourself, right? So the double Piao that I have been recommending, you know, and it's back in stock with a blue kyanite. Make sure you add the blue kyanite because it's free. Okay. Is free. You add the PL, you add, okay, it's free. Free shipping in the US and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe, okay? For people who's trying, uh, Jupiter is in the sixth house. We need to prevent the debt from expanding because it's going to expand. So, what better way, okay, than the Mega Seven? Okay, this is the lucky seven gemstones that has helped me. Yellow sapphire is Jupiter. So let's strengthen a planet that is going to be weakening in the six by using a gemstone. And Jupiter is yellow sapphire. Primo. Okay, this is free also. Okay, if you get your Mega 7, it comes like this. Okay? So I wouldn't recommend it if it didn't help me. I always wear my yellow sapphire. However, it's not gifted. <laughs> At the purchase. Yours is gifted, darling. So take it. Right? So you have your 7 of Wands. Okay, because transit-wise, we need to prevent that. That's a 12-month transit. We need to control these debts. High Priestess with the Nine of Swords. Your person is stressed because you don't want to make a decision right now. You're about fulfilling your own needs, the sun card. Someone is scared that you're, they're going to lose you. I don't sense a breakup or you have broken up with someone, but someone is coming towards you and they really want you, okay? Not obsessive. They just see you as someone like this, the sun card. Like, who doesn't want to be with the one that is a source of joy and happiness? You're naturally optimistic. You're Jupiterian. The sun is here. The sun is in Aries. Okay, in your fifth house, dating and romance, hobbies. Um, this is a Purva Punya, a past life luck. And the sun in Aries is exalted. Yes. Okay, so its exaltation means the sun will give you, okay, what it can. And what the sun give you? Let me see. Sun can give you your wishes because it's ruler of the ninth house. What you wish, what you manifest, and it's exaltation. So in technicality, um, how do you call this? Uh, be careful for what you wish for, right? Because everything right now that you're wishing can manifest, okay? So 
If you're saying, Sal, that what I wish can manifest, what's a good gemstone? Ruby. Because the ninth house is ruled by the sun. Who has a ruby in the bracelet? Right here. <laughs> so you got everything? I got everything. All the remedies that you can use. You want to make it happen? Try it. But. I gotta go, okay? They upload this on the weekdays or the weekend. On the weekdays, we do ship five times a week. So I'll tag this in a Carnivus video. While it's still there, I'll see you guys again.